so bright. Oh. It's so bright. <laughs> How do you turn it down? Wow. Uh oh, I think we're live. We are? Here, high five oh. everybody. High five. Okay. Hello. It's bright. And welcome. Oh, I can't wow. see anymore. Okay. Whoa. That was crazy. Uh, it must be your future in front of us. Yes. <laughs> There's finally light at the end of the tunnel. It's so bright. <laughs> How are you guys? Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to a wonderfully special episode of Taking a Risk Live. Woo! With George George, that's me, if you're new here, and the honey. The reason my name is George George, a lot of you don't know, my first name is George. My middle name is also George. That is my legal name. Yeah, how silly is that? Because I, I did not believe him. After. Yeah, nobody at believes first. me. There's some people who are like, oh, yeah, I understand. I get that. But, yeah, you don't get it until you're in my shoes. And people call you George George, and they make fun of you at school. Yeah. Nobody made fun of me at school. At least not to my face. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm glad they didn't. I could have handled it. Yes, uh, thank you all so very much for joining us. This is such a special occasion for us. We just hit... <laughs> 29,000 subscribers. subscribers. Like, wow. Like, what? That doesn't even seem right. Look at all these people coming in real quick. We got Brenda, Sue, BB, Jen, Jen, Grandma Nay. What is that? Vertical yeah, live? Yeah, vertical live streaming. Quit playing on your phone. Okay, walking. I'm trying to get the live, man. See how she talks to me like a teenager. Get off my case, man. Okay, scoot this like No, it. this is mine. Why? So that way I can prop my phone up so I can watch no, comments. Here, use my your soda. Healthy soda. It's your on the sofa. screen now. It looks like you're drinking something. Okay. Now what am I gonna drink? Here, use your soda. Oh. No, your empty soda. I don't know if it'll work for you. It might work. I have been feeling absolutely been terrible. We're gonna talk about this and why things have been the way they have been this last <laughs> crazy week. Todd is here. Brian is here. Angela Hill from Farm Life is here. Tina Emery. Look at all these wonderful people coming to celebrate this I know. amazing occasion with us. <gasps> yes. Aunt Angel Hill Farm Life is still working to get the 1,000, their first 1,000 subscribers. That is such an exciting That's thing awesome. to work towards. Boatman, Boatman is here. Hello, Boatman. Got Todd and Mark and Brian, Boatman, Lori. And Lori. I'm, I'm, I'm saying all these names because these are the wonderful people that helped get us to 29,000 Absolutely. So, yes, you thank all you. helped. Thank you, thank so. you, thank you, all of you so very much. Hopefully, we'll just keep on growing through the end of this year and then next year as well. You know, that's hopefully how it works. But we got a lot of work to put in. We've got a lot more that we want to share and do for you guys. Okay, here we go. I think I got it. What did you get? Uh, Maria. Um, Is that not working? Uh, no, it's not it's working. We are here. We're doing well. He, George, George. I'm um, still getting over whatever, yeah, whatever sickness whatever. plagued me right before we left the, uh, the keys. Which I think I figured it out because typically around this time of year, I do get sick. Usually right into spring. Always right like before my birthday. Like a seasonal type. I did celebrate my birthday. We celebrated my yes, birthday we on did. Friday, last Woo -woo! Friday. Turned the big 34. I know. Which I've been talking like I've been 34 for like the last like six months. So it doesn't yeah. even feel like I feel like I was already 34. Well, you weren't. And I know, now but you I kept, are. I kept this saying is the like first I was. live of you being 34. And it was one of the best birthdays How I ever cool had. Was that? It was so calm and quiet. And you guys were just so wonderful to me. I absolutely loved it. So mm. thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> Oh, really did <laughs> mm. Wait, you did leave a little, a little stuff behind. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I did some stuff. Some wild but, stuff. Yes. <laughs> oh, you guys are so awesome. And we literally love that you guys came back tonight. And we are, you're getting better, right? Yeah, yeah. My yeah. cough is like, I'm finally not coughing up anything. You can hear it. I still have nicely, a cough but... and I'm still very conscious. I don't know what's going on with my left side, but it is like, there's so much pressure and it almost feels like sinus is like a sinus issue right here. But normally I can take medicine for my sinuses and it'll clear up. This has not cleared up. It no. just... <laughs> there he goes, folks. I there just he can't goes. Hold it anymore. <laughs> it's been terrible. And I feel like my voice is so off. I keep 
sniffling. I'm going to try and hold back. Hold I'm back those my nose. sniffles. And it's funny, too, because as a kid, I hated blowing my nose. I was always the type to just <laughs> suck oh. it all in. Yeah, see? And people would always look at me and just be like, go blow your nose. Like, What's the difference? It's just the sound. I know. It yeah, is. But it in... is. As I've gotten older, I can agree. The sound is obnoxious and it's gross. Yeah, but also in, I feel like you're just sucking up all that bacteria that wants to come out so badly so that yeah, way that you can get Yeah, that's how your better. body fights stuff. You have to have it inside of you so your body knows it what it's It was like. already inside of you. Yeah, but it's in a different part of my body. It's in my lungs. I don't know. I don't know how the body works. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I don't make rocket appliances. Dr. Risk. Yeah, I know. That, <laughs> Man, was, that, that sounds... was a dream a long time ago. I was almost Just there. Kiss, that Just good. had to keep going. Decided to change my major. Well, here we are now. So... I know. We wouldn't be here today if it was if I was Dr. Risk. Yeah. Unless fate or the universe had it made for us. <laughs> which probably it did. She's a wonderful oh woman. I'm God. very lucky. So Bye. Do you guys know which kid's up? Because <laughs> they're not all. Asleep. He just won't go to sleep. Oh, yeah. He wants to celebrate. He wants to celebrate this wonderful occasion of us hitting 38,000. 38, I was looking at Brian McKearley. He said he's oh, 38 my. years old. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Got me with a Freudian 38, slip. 29, 29,000 subscribers. subscribers. Like and that's... it's actually almost 29,100. Yeah, it's almost there, which is pretty cool. I have to thank my th sister a lot, and of course, yes. Jeremy as well. If it wasn't for them, I never would have been on YouTube. So that, I don't know if anybody didn't know that that is where I got my start on YouTube. Oh. I was on their channel. Jeremy invited me a few times to be on their channel, and you guys just fell in love with me, and then you guys asked me to make a channel. I made a channel, and you guys fell in love with us. So thank you, thank you, thank you to my sister, George, and Jeremy. Thank you guys so much. The reason I said it like that is because that's another reason why I'm called George George on my channel, because... They took my name, which is also her middle name. So, there you go. So, once again, what the hails. Thank you so much for helping me get my start on YouTube. I don't know where I would be without this. Life would be so completely weird and different. I, I, I can't even fathom, like, what would I have been doing for the last five years? I don't know, but we wouldn't be here, that's for sure. We would not be taking this journey. I do not I don't know. I think we may have still gotten into the RV lifestyle. You think? Yeah. <laughs> We just wouldn't be doing it. He doesn't think it. so. Baron, Baron didn't think so. so. They said, oh, oh no, he 100% said, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That's what I heard, too. Which he is standing up on his own. Baron's been crawling around. Oh, he's literally just zooming gosh. around. He's, he has I literally around. need to post more shorts of him, like, in these, like, Oh, I thought you were meaning, stages. like, you're selling your shorts. <laughs> no. Like you need to post your shorts for sale. No. <laughs> I was like, you're still wearing them. Um, we're getting into summertime. Why would you sell your shorts? In his growing stages, I literally. He's growing to... so fast. Like, and he's like picking up month. stuff. It's like, like one day he was like getting his knees up and like kind of like belly flopping. And then like literally like the next day he's like. We rush these things dog. too. Like, what is but, it called? Bear crawling. Yeah, he would like stand up on his hands and his legs would be up at the same it's time. So, so he'd silly. like make a little arch. But. We've been rushing these things because the kids, they're running around him. Yeah, they're always yeah, moving around. He true. wants to get up and go with them. But we're also helping him to stand. And he's been working on his squats. Literally, yeah, that's all he ever so does cute. is squats, squats, squats. He's so cute. His legs are so thick. Oh, he's grabbing the camera now. There he goes. Oh, gosh. Grabbing, grabbing Baron, the camera now. Baron, Baron, oh. no, no, no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're gonna hey, get... but since he's at it, if you keep moving it just a little bit, they'll be able to see this thing right here. Oh, which is something absolutely wonderful that the honey has been working on. If you want to, that's too far. Oh, they, they almost saw him. I'm not wearing pants. They almost saw. Uh oh. <laughs> so if you lift it up just oh. a little bit. No. Nope. What are you doing? Just Literally, this. Come on. There you go. Okay. Just a little bit. There you go. The honey may be it's a little lower. Slightly to your left. Okay. My left. There you go. There you go. These are Dollar Tree. <laughs> she made these in the app from the Dollar Tree. Hold on, I'm digging in my nose. Don't put it back. Oh. Yet. Okay. Now where? Do, now where? Uh oh. Now where does it need to go? Oh Lord Almighty! I don't even. Know. That's actually spot on. You literally got it right where to be. So good job, honey. Thank you, Lori J. She said the children are adorable, which is funny because everywhere we take Baron. People want to hold him. Oh, it's they, wild. We keep getting threats that people are going to take him. So it's, <laughs> it is getting really wild. It's uh, 
if you ever need a babysitter, I'm just two armies down. And I'd love to believe them, but anytime we say, oh, we'll bring them around this time, there's always that chuckle, like, ha ha, <laughs> <laughs> like you thought. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it is. But we actually did meet a wonderful lady. Do you remember her name? I'm so, no, Mary Beth is wonderful. I'm not talking about Mary Beth. Not the lady we met at the pool that one day. She was like a whip and a cracker. This lady. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Firecracker, not regular cracker. Oh, I have yeah, her. See? I have her phone number. We did. We took her number down because this I lady. I literally think it's Mary Ann. It could be Mary Ann. It literally is. I'm 90. 7% sure it's This Mary. lady knows how to raise kids, and she's not afraid to tell you. Like, I was very impressed with the stuff she was in. So I have a degree in psychology and early childhood education, and a lot of the stuff she was telling me in The Honey was just spot on. And she was just, she's just, she was a nanny for like 14 years, and uh, she raised other people's children. And she lives setting, in right? the RV, and she, what's that? In a daycare setting, right? Yeah, in a daycare yeah, setting, yeah. and she was just wonderful. I'd love to actually meet up with her again and bounce some ideas off of her. Yeah. She seems to know how to deal with children in this <coughs> in this age where they're growing and they're starting to become rebellious because we can definitely see it with Jackson. Baron, What's what he doing? are you doing? Is he blowing bubbles? Buddy. Are those butt bubbles? Dim's butt bubbles. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We have 105 people watching. Wow! Right Thank you guys. There's so some making butt bubbles. There's some making butt bubbles. And my nose is making booger bubbles. I can't help it. I need, I need to suck it all in. Would you like it. to me to bring you some tissues? Or you want to go in the bathroom? No, I'll be all right. Okay. Yeah, we'll fight through this together. All okay. of us. But for those of you that are just joining, we are celebrating hitting 29,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah, this and I was in the middle of thanking everybody who's made this possible and it's you guys you guys have made this possible we still would not with george and jeremy we would not be here without you guys we would not have stayed here so because of you guys we stayed and we continue to and this is the full time the first time we've gone full time because i've tried to do youtube on and off and in between you know working at various jobs and then becoming injured and not being able to do much it's been hard it's been a struggle but i committed to it when we sold the house a little bit before that, I remember I committed to it. I wanted to try doing it the year before, 2022, but we didn't sell our house then. It just wasn't in the stars, as I like to say. But now, we sold our house and we've committed to going full-time in YouTube and content creating and stuff like that. And it is 100% a dream come true, but it is a struggle as well. We're learning the ins and outs of what we need to actually be doing. The Honey has been doing such a phenomenal job. If you haven't already, check the description. It's in every video. There's a TikTok, an Instagram, and a Facebook that she runs on her own. And she has been doing a phenomenal job at putting content out there on those and growing those platforms. Right, honey? Yeah. I actually got <laughs> invited on TikTok for a special, like, uh, accelerator program. Oh. Did you already put the blueberry stuff out there? What? The thing you made for the... No, I didn't know. Oh. I didn't yet. I didn't do the voiceover part. Oh, that's okay. Do you want to talk about it or not yet? Oh, look, Ellen's here. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Ellen. I am feeling okay. I'm getting over the sickness. I think I'm in the last few days, hopefully, crossing my fingers. It almost felt like I had... I was like, I don't know what, what the pneumonia feels say? like. <laughs> it's emojis, but it like, is. Yeah, it doesn't show it up on, on the computer. Your, so Isn't that so weird. nuts? Look, like, I think that's emojis, too. Red oh, rocket, yeah. rocket. Red Oh, my gosh. Off. Yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> that is so funny. So that is... It's actually so I wonder weird. which phone is doing that. Do you think it's Android or do you think it's... No, iPhone? I think it's, like, my, like, the computer. Because, look, I literally can see well, look, them. we got invited to Denny's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I don't All know right, where Brian. Swedes Ferry is, but we'll have to figure that out. That'd be wonderful. Thank you for the offer. We appreciate it. Hello, Diane. I was in the middle of Hi, Michelle. People. There's a lot Sandy. of people. I know. There's like, so there's many. There's 29,000 people we need to go through and thank. I know. Oof. Yeah, especially the ones that have stayed and continued to watch the videos. Where's day that day. one list? Um, did you make I it? I never one? sent it to you, but okay. it's, <clears throat> it's not a completed list. Okay. There's thousands of people. Well, at least we can do a little bit for now right okay so i was going through emails um just like i do and a lot of you have sent um uh, like recommendations 
Take care of some we'll keep talking. Recommendations or places to go. I don't know why, but like anytime that Baron cries, my brain nearly shuts off. So that way that like all of my attention goes directly to him. So I do apologize. Um, so anyways. Because he's so pitiful. I know, he's so great. Oh my gosh, I think there's a little buggy in here that got him. Um, anyways. That was Baron. <laughs> I want to thank the people that have sent us recommendations, places to go. Um, you know, if you've seen any of our RV videos and maybe we're not doing something correctly, a recommendation that way. I got this. Keep going. Okay. Um, so Sheila Barton has sent us recommendations or information through email. Diana, Matt. Susan Chungmore, Diane Crawwell, and let me just state, I am so sorry if I butcher anybody's name. I'm, I'm really not. bad about names. Like, I'm really bad. I spelled some names wrong on purpose because Ugh. I was going to read them. Oh, Lynette, um, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Oh, you are literally so loyal. Um, You're and so sweet awesome we literally cannot thank you enough from the bottom of our heart and now we have a little critter that's going to join <laughs> my little twin people little keep, keep, keep telling me that we look so much alike it's crazy and he's so much lighter than me and Ficaro. and then i wanted to thank do it's, a special it's actually thing and figaro 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 oh is it really yeah okay thank you so much for that you're welcome awesome. baby can oh. you can you do it now no <laughs> but you thought that I was about to. Uh, yeah, I figured you would join me. Oh, Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Ew. You can do it right. You don't have to do it so silly. <laughs> okay, anyways, I want to thank our moderators so much. Um, Tricky Chi, Ellen Gall, thank you. Kathy uh, Calavante, Susan Alikum, yeah, and Calavante. Two Lees. Thank you, Helen, so much for that and $5 super chat. there's thousands of others. It's literally just where we started. Yeah, yeah, there's this so is many of just you. where we started. Of course, started. Uncle Bo there, Mark Bolander. Yep, Christine I, is I believe super his loyal. wife, Mary, is what? Everything. Christina Roman Noodle. Mm -hmm. yeah, Christine, sorry, yeah. Probably everybody that's in the chat right now, just go ahead and put anything in the chat so that we can acknowledge that you're here because it doesn't show us, you guys specifically, unless you put something there. Cynthia Brotheim, she's mm -hmm. one of the best as well. Oh, and my if, gosh. What? I what? think you did have her on here, and I just skipped it. No, I never got to oh, it. You didn't get I'm telling you, there's there's literally thousands. Of my brain was rattled. Yeah, I know. And but we had Taco Bell for dinner, obviously. This way, we will be able to keep our brains from unrattling. You know. And we promise, that Katie. Of course, you, Katie. Yes, you're phenomenal. Any so Susan Lachaim, did you read Susan? Lachaim? Yeah, yeah. I, I did, but I did not read it exactly like that. Why would you not read it as Susan Lachaim? Wow. You guys, we didn't tell you. Yes. Yes, we're shouting. <laughs> Did you guys hear up. what he said whenever he whispered? Baron. The has... Millers. Love the Millers. They're very loyal as well. Teresa Louie. Wait, are we sharing it or no? Yes, you can have a train of thought and I can have a runaway train of thought. Oh my God, squirrel. Okay, Baron has two teeth. The perfect two teeth. He's got the bottom oh ones. Oh my gosh, look at He's like a reverse two beaver. Look Instead up here. of chewing on look up trees here. and stuff, he's biting mom. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you getting in the look over there? Are we going to try and show them? He's patting. Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah, he I wants to try. Tight. He's but anyway, he has Alan teeth. Schaefer. He's, I'm sorry, your leg is getting twisted. He made I know, no, he, he wants to hit bad. this computer so bad. I know, bad. he wants to type. He's teasing himself. He's so cute. Look, look at what he got. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not going to cut it. Uh oh. He's going to need his mom. Oh, maybe it will. He has little fat feet. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. He's watching his little trucks on TV. <clears throat> I could, and both of the teeth literally came in at the exact time. They're the same. Maybe it's one big tooth. Did everything. you ever check? No, I never there's saw literally a, a gap. Yeah, there mm. is. Check right now. He's got a big okay. in his mouth. We'll Mary said case. Thank you so much. Oh, she said Baron is <laughs> so cute. Look, you just made five bucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> keep it coming, keep it coming. Come on, baby, what you working with? <laughs> uh, we're losing service. Please make sure you let us know if our oh, oh man, he's jumping the mic. If our uh, internet is going in and out, <laughs> we are in an area that doesn't have the best internet. Yes, hello, Mister Mister. Mm. Oh, goodness, T is so cute. I love those big fat cheeks. Mm. Yes, we are still in Florida for now. For only Jane a Pilsen, little hello, hello, hello. tiny bit. Dennis, Even though... Dennis, huh? Dennis Mack. I'm just... Oh, I told okay. people to mention that yeah, they're yeah. here. Even though... After That's this... Work, Mama. After this, we're booked for the keys again. But I am going to cancel because... Oh, I know. I told her to cancel. She wanted to do something I want to go so birthday, bad. And I do too. And I wanted but... to like... Yeah, I wanted to go down and like celebrate in the keys for his birthday. But... um. <clears throat> One, it's another eight-hour drive there from where we are now. Potentially. And then back it starts eight, hours. eight hours. Yeah, yeah. And then back eight hours, which that's 16 hours. I don't think I want to do it again right now. No, not not this time. So I, I think mean, we're gonna oh, he's skedaddly, in skedaddly on out of Florida, actually. I think yeah. is a better plan. We have lots of plans for this summer and this fall. Yes. Winter is where we're struggling to figure out because this has been such an amazing probably Time. just back down here, but I don't think I want to be down here. So, you know, I think I might want to be in Texas next this time. long. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like... Yeah, it's been four months. Yeah, Wait, yeah. No, well, technically five, because November, December, yeah. January, February, now we're into March, and it's gonna, about to be... It's going to go into April, April yeah. yeah. It's almost six months. Yeah. Are, are we technically residents? Are we technically residents now of Florida? Let's get the heck out of here. I don't care where they are. I, don't, I like Florida. There's no state tax. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually hear that the other day. Somebody told me that. Yeah, but that's why there's a lot of things that you choppy. do have to pay for. Like, yeah, I, I can see it right here. It shows us. Did you Come ever know to that? Tennessee for fall. Yes, we'll definitely be in the area. We think we're going to go more north. That was my phone. So tonight? actually, Tennessee, I think, is supposed to be planned for July. Yeah, Tennessee's probably going to be summertime. Yeah. But, I mean, we can just, like, do a hook. Pennsylvania in September and then Tennessee and but then if we do that We're then we can't go up. up. Yes, we can. Can, we can but... do like a little spirally circle thing. Yeah, but then why can't we move where? Christine, what? she said, why can't you move here? Where's here? Florida. She's from here. Oh my goodness, think... Robert Humlong and Janice. Thank you so much. They're from Kentucky's. Been with us with since you the start. start. Oh my gosh. Oh my You've so seen many all people. the kids and we grow did, up from we did get our start. Yeah, Jackson That's amazing. reading to you guys was the very was first huge... video. Yeah. And that was when we just had Jackson and Evelyn. Yeah, that was but You weren't even pregnant then because that was October of 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Evelyn wasn't here yet. Yes, she was. Evelyn was born in 2019 in January. You're thinking Yasmin. When did you start? You two. October. Of 19. Yeah. Okay, it was. Okay. That was like my official start, and it was Jackson reading. If you guys haven't checked out that video, go check it out. He was. You need to pin it somewhere. He I was don't know how three to years old at the time, and he was reading nursery rhymes. Yeah. Like, full on reading. I mean, you guys know his reading ability now. I mean. You know what blows my mind? I saw an article the other day <laughs> of a two year old who can read, and he's being inducted into Mensa, which. Uh, do you know what that is? No. It's like the a group of like really, really smart people, like above oh, okay. averagely smart people. And there's a two-year-old who's getting inducted into it, and apparently there's other two-year-olds who are in it. Jackson was reading at one. I know. Why did that miss us? I mean, I don't know. I can tell you why. It was because of the preschool. And it was because of the Head Start program. They would not give us the appropriate information to get him into these programs. Yeah, he 100% is, needs to be in some sort of gifted. He should like have above been. average gifted. He should have been. 100% yeah. he should have been. And now I'm feeling like uh, hopefully, you know, you almost need to get those kids into those programs early so that they continue to learn and uh, their brain just grows, grows, grows. Because when you're not learning, you're not growing. Your brain's not growing. That's just how it works. If you don't use it, you lose it. That's a big message. Hi, Elena. We miss you, sweet girl. Oh, my goodness. She's so cute. Hello, Elena. <laughs> Baron's saying hello with his pat pats. He likes the pat pat pat. Cynthia, that drone is. Uh oh, I need to go get it from outside. I use it literally everywhere I go. So, what he was talking about earlier 
we went to an amazing blueberry farm. Um, it was just me and the kids, and we had an absolute blast. And it was super windy, and the drone literally got amazing footage of the kids, of me and the kids. Um, it's just such, like, because we're so busy, um, like, the faraway shots and getting, like, some really cool scenic shots this drone is so wonderful like i can't talk enough about it it's one of the first smart drones it's a smart drone and it's a self-flying drone that's, at that's that that's what makes it smart it, yeah it targets you it got wet Baron, <laughs> you are going crazy over i know a lot boy. of you have probably seen the video of this thing but for those of you that haven't for the 133 people that are here this thing is absolutely incredible and it literally fits in, your in palm. the palm of your hand. And this is in it your closed pocket. up. This is it opened up. It still fits yeah, in your it's... palm. It literally takes off from your palm and it lands back in your palm just by putting your hand underneath it. Oh, it's <laughs> a godsend. Like the creator of this drone is intelligent to say the least. Yeah, the company that made this is the company is which yeah. it is it is called the Hover. For anybody wondering, it's the Hover Air X1, and it does come in black which I think looks amazing, but the white looks really cool too because it blends in. It's really kind of like from a distance, you might not see it. Yeah, yeah, You'll that's actually what things, I like. They sound like little buzzing bees. They do Buzz. sound like bees, but they're nowhere near the sound of a regular, like a, a normal yeah, size drone. a normal size drone. drone because this thing is only 125 grams, which means you don't even have to register. You don't have to have a license to fly this. And like I was saying, well, you're not a, even really flying it. <laughs> no, it flies itself. It yep. literally, you put it in a mode and it figures everything else out and it targets you, which is crazy because you can be in a crowded area. I don't suggest being in a too crowded area, but you can be in a crowded area and this thing will figure out your look and it'll follow you. You can either have it follow you. You can have it zoom away and take a picture from afar. It can hover and just spin in place and follow you around. Reaching for gold down there, huh? <laughs> what else does this thing do so found out something super cool this thing will actually drop height and go ele it'll elevate itself as well depending on if you're going up and down i still want to try it climbing up a ladder but i haven't gotten to that part yet and if you are interested in getting one there is a link below for you to get i think 15 dollars off yep 15 dollars off if you use code tar 15 I am adding all of the links to our link tree as well. That way it's a one-stop shop for you guys to just click that. And of course, anything that we do have a link for down in our description does help us as well continue this journey. It so does, absolutely. We yes. thank each and every one of you that have purchased stuff. It's, it's, it's really cool when companies reach back out to us and they go, hey, people bought some of the stuff that you were helping Promoting. to promote. Yeah. And it's, it's like, that's really like, mm. That's how we know we're making a decent choice. Hello, Melody. Hello, Shelburne. Uh, so how far away will it go? The farthest, I think. Is 30 feet, right? Is it 30? I yeah. think it's. So it actually, it can go up, Let too. It takes a phone. bird's eye. I can tell you. Here, you're going to have to use my phone. Yours? Okay. I think it's more than that. But I think you have to. Try it doesn't it. orbit as well, which is super duper cool, because I thought you had to be stationary for these orbits. But no, you can literally do whatever you want, oh, I'm and it'll just circle around you. You're so funny. So they are really cool. Uh oh, I'm missing something about what is that? What is Notch and Kanga? No, you do have to turn it on so that way I can see. Oh, the drone? Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. You don't. You well, don't. it's okay. I'll show them because it's going to spin its little camera and it's going to turn on and it's going to say hello to them. There it goes. Well, there you go. And something super duper cool. You do have to play with the settings to figure this out. But it actually does capture sound as well, which is very unique for a drone. And the way it works is it goes through your phone. So this thing will be behind you or, you know, wherever you are, it could be in front of you. And there's also a mode where it follows you in front. It's a little tricky to work. You really can't turn or anything. You have to be walking in a straight line, but it's super duper cool. But the sound goes through your phone and it has a noise reduction. It has a smart noise reduction where it knows the sound of the drone and it completely eliminates it and picks up on your vocal tones. 
I was blown away because I had it in my pocket and I forgot that I had it on and I was doing something really cute with the kids. They were doing like ring around. The, yeah. 50. That's what I thought. It can go okay. up to 50 okay. feet away from you. We were doing ring around the Rosie with the kid while it, kids, while it circulated them and they were dancing and singing and it literally captured all of the amazingly cute little noises from my phone in my pocket that they were making. So that's a really cool video to have. And, um, uh, there's, they're, they're constantly adding modes. So once we, when we got it, there was eight modes. Now I think there's 10. And one of them is like an action mode where you do poses and stuff. And it does different things depending on which pose you do, which is, that is an advanced technique as, as they describe it. So I definitely recommend playing with it before you do do that because you can end up, I've had it fly away on me twice when I first got it because of wind. So you have to be careful for the wind as well. And I got lucky because it hit a tree <laughs> the second time. I think the first time it hit a swing. And the second time, but it hasn't happened since then. Now we're more comfortable using it. So I don't think that'll happen again. I definitely will not use it when it's windy like that. Uh-oh. All right, let me go back to the comments. Missing stuff. Hello, hello, Selena. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the 149 people that are watching. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special live. We're celebrating our 29,000th subscriber. We're almost at 29,100. And when we started the year, we were at 28 thousand like just about twenty eight thousand we didn't get to I thought it was twenty six but maybe no, no, no. we've gone up a thousand okay about since we started back in October ish we can even kick it back that far because that's yeah. when we really well from when we went full time January first I decided to go full time on YouTube putting all my efforts and energy into it and I believe we had twenty eight thousand probably somewhere around like fifty 28,000, like 50 subscribers. Okay. So since then, we've jumped up a thousand just about, That's which is amazing. absolutely wonderful and amazing. Like that growth is there and it like makes my heart sore. And once again, I want to throw a big thank you out there to George and Jeremy who helped me get my start on YouTube. I would not be here without them. And like I was saying earlier to the 29,000 people that have subscribed, I would not still be here without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. All of us. Thank you. The kids. Thank you. They know how important it is for us to grow and us to stay in the, uh, the YouTube world and make good content for you guys. And they love being in the videos. And they, especially Jackson. Jackson loves showing off his amazing talents of reading and stuff like that and showing off how much he loves science and how much he loves history. And Evelyn loves showing you guys her gymnastics and how sassy she can be. Oh, man. And Baron just loves being cute. Sass. <laughs> Hello, LGR and So Crafty Jen. And Michelle Ryan, thank you guys so very much for joining us on this very special occasion. Oh, I think I missed a, uh... oh no, I got that one. Uh -oh. oh, Lori Backus says we jo we earned it. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We really do appreciate that. Uncle Bo, we gotta hang out sometime. We are heading your way. So very soon we will have to link up and yes, go do some cool, cool stuff. You'll have to show us some cool things in here because we wanna get into the habit of going to places that not a lot of people see like, like we don't want to do yeah we don't want to do touristy stuff we want to do more hidden gem stuff we want to do more i like doing like the world's biggest things or the world's smallest things that's my favorite like the world's yeah. small that world's smallest bar i really want to know in the keys if that's legit the world's smallest bar okay like you remember it was a doorway yeah literally it was, yeah, it was so a tight. doorway with a bar and there was two people in there one was the bartender and they saw me filming, and he was like, sup, dude? <laughs> it probably legit is the world's smallest. And it's funny, because I was just watching, there's a new movie. It's not new. It's a remake of an old movie, Roadhouse. You probably don't know. No. All right, well, it takes place in the Keys. Literally, oh we were gosh, just there, crazy. and this movie just came out. And I was like, man, we missed probably filming by, like, six months yeah, or something probably, like that. Yeah. And Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. He's one of my favorite actors. And it also has Conor McGregor, if anybody likes UFC. He's the, uh, the big bad guy in it. And he is such a goofy character. <laughs> he's like, he, I hope this doesn't come off as any type of race, but he's 100% like a leprechaun. He moves, he's an Irishman or a Scottishman, I don't know which one, but he 100% moves like a leprechaun in my mind. That's he's so always funny. so cheery and he talks like this and he walks like this. Oh, that, always, that accent is so cool. Oh, I can do much better, but don't let him hear this or else I might end up dead somewhere. Well, he would literally your voice beat me to a pulp. A I'm one heck of a fighter, but. 
there's no way I'm not. one punch from that guy and my guts are going flying somewhere. <laughs> He's nuts. Oh, I wish my voice was working. Oh, Brenda, what did you think about it? I actually really liked it. And I, this is going to be controversial because I actually hated the original. Now I was not introduced to it until very late in my life. The original Roadhouse, I never watched it. I never, it's not something that ever crossed. I was more of like Steven Stagall. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I like John Claude Van Damme. He was my favorite for a long time. I loved all of their movies, but for some reason, I missed a lot of the other popular. Like, I didn't care for Karate Kid. Karate Kid was cool. I liked Mr. Miyagi. Oh, I like Karate Kid. See, but now I like the new Karate Kid because I love Jackie Chan. Okay, then that's And then the Will Smith was one of my favorite actors, so his kid being in it when he was cute, it was yeah. awesome. So I thought that was Maybe really good. Little, yeah. yeah, I wish they would have continued on with that uh, saga and they would have made more of them. See, Maria's saying it's great. I literally could not get into it. I watched it, and I just thought, okay, to be fair, though, I watch a lot of the movies that I used to like as a kid, all those action movies, and I'm like, ooh, these are real cheesy. Like, how did these fly back then? Like, I love <laughs> – I have to keep remembering, though. It was a different time and stuff like that. But, like, the cheesy lines, the, <laughs> the one-liners, like, even – Arnold had a, had a bunch of them, too, but they're so silly. I'm, like, watching this little school bus get stuck in mud. Oh, my God. So silly. I'm worse he's than almost, Jackson. He's almost out. Finally. That's so cute. I should probably check these uh, chats because there's probably tons of stuff that I'm missing. So let's see. Cynthia's okay. saying let's get to 30,000 subscribers. That would be wonderful. The, the way that you guys can help with that, I know it seems like you guys can't, but I promise you can. Hit those thumbs ups. Leave comments. Literally, the more activity you do on a video, anybody's video across any YouTube channel, the more activity they receive, <laughs> the more they get pushed. So the more they get seen. The cooler place called the No Name Pub has great pizza. And I was thinking because it took place in the Keys, it was so cool seeing it again. That seven mile bridge that we were on, mm -hmm. I've seen it m hundreds of times. I almost said millions to exaggerate, but I've seen it hundreds of times. You know how? It's in one of my favorite movies. Mm, which movie? It's called True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I used to watch that movie over and over and over as a kid. They actually blew up the old one in that movie. The one that's abandoned. Seven oh, Mile Bridge, the old my one. God. They blew it up for that movie. Oh, you're yeah, lucky. Yeah, how the heck did I not know that? That, that is, is literally one of the coolest scenes. I've always, like, it never crossed my mind, like, where even that bridge was when I was a kid. I never thought that hard. Like, in my mind, those types of movies, I'm always thinking to myself, like, all of that action took place in another country. Yeah. Like, and for whatever Some of them reason, do it's cheaper. For whatever reason, I always think it's always in China. For, I don't know why, <laughs> but I, like whenever I see action China. movies, I'm like, that bridge was blown up in China, or like that cool um, building is in China. Like, why does it never cross my mind <laughs> that could be in the U.S.? I don't know. It's weird. I don't know, but that's a funny way of thinking. I love it. <laughs> It's on demand right now. I watched it yesterday. My parents drove across the bridge. That's so cool. And they even brought up that tree that grows in the Roadhouse movie. The new Roadhouse movie. His name is Fred. That big oh. tree that's just growing. Where is it growing? On the old Seven Mile Bridge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we noticed that when we first drove in. And that's one of the first things one of the characters asks him in the movie when he gets the keys. Did you notice Fred? And he says no. And I was like, how did you? You can't miss it unless you're looking on the wrong side of the bridge. Because if you're coming and he came in on a bus, if you're sitting on the right-hand side of the bus, you obviously see Fred if you're sitting on the left, which is actually a meme, funny you enough. You might miss it, yeah. Yeah, you definitely will, because if you're looking out the left window, all you're going to see is open ocean. You're yeah. not going to see the old bridge. You can miss the whole bridge. I literally yelled that when you drove her. That's funny. Susan Bailey, she said she literally saw the bridge that we were driving on, and she yelled out that that's from True Lies. That's so cool. I wish I would have known that. I definitely would have talked about that. I love, love, love things like that. So many people love True Lies. That was such an amazing movie. Arnold and Jamie well, Lee We're going to have to watch it tonight after the live now. Well, we can cut this short. It was a fun celebration. Yeah. It's, one of my, it's a long movie. Oh, how long? I think it's over two hours. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10.30. And what we do you got, got to do? We got a lot. I got to do tomorrow. almost no sleep last night because I'm an idiot. I completely forgot I was sanding, <laughs> some, which I've done some projects over the last few days, which I didn't record any of it because once again I'm an idiot. But I did a whole new black. The kid, I'm an idiot. 
I did a whole new backsplash behind our little coffee maker, which I'll show eventually. Oh, the drone just shut off. So it does have an idle mode if you do like, leave it on. The doorbell. Yeah, if you do leave it on too long, it does shut off on its own to conserve batteries, which is pretty cool. So, and then I painted our uh, island. So our cabinets and our woodwork in here is all brown. You could probably maybe see no, maybe not. Well, here under my arm, there's a little bit of brown. You see this brown right here? This dark brown. Everything looks like that. Elena says not you have to visit us like in Mexico. All the trim. Well, no. Yeah, like, if you guys have watched some of the videos, you know our cabinets, our pantry door, the trim around the refrigerator, microwave, all the cabinets are all brown. But the honey saw somebody make it a nice green. Like, like what did you call that? I'll show you guys eventually, but just bear with us. That's like a light sage green. Sage green yeah. is what I would say. And I hate painting. I was allergic to paint when I was little. My eyes turned into big old balloons, and I was by myself for several hours when I was nine years old, and I was freaking out and crying to death. And George actually was the one who uh, showed up first at the house, her and her boyfriend at the time, and they actually saved, I consider it saved my life, because if I was having an allergic reaction, I may have died. Uh, they ended up taking me to the ER, and I got my big shot of whatever antihistamine they used right in the butt cheek. <laughs> It's a fond, fond memory. I remember the lady telling me to... No. Penicillin is for a lot of other things. Okay, I'm sorry. No, antihistamine is like Benadryl. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just... Oh, my gosh. What? Did he bite you? Yeah, I think that thing that you saw bit my arm. Well, let me see it, then I'll bite it. little mosquito. Nobody bites my woman and gets away with it. How did you see and no see him? Anyways, continue your story. I don't remember what I was even talking about now, besides forgetting a... Shot in your butt. It was like a four-inch needle. Oof, like and it had to be one? in your butt cheek. It could not be anywhere else. Like an epidural one or littler? It was a four-inch needle. Oof. And she stuck it in all the way to the hip, pretty much. And I remember I did... <laughs> if you've ever seen the Austin Powers movie, the second one, where him and Mini-Me are in space, and he gives Mini-Me the shot because he was in the cold of space, and he goes, ooh! <laughs> That's the same sound I made. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was funny. It was terrible. And I remember I was on my face, which my eyes were still super swollen. So, you know, I was doing everything by feel or by command. And I was face down in this pillow. And I really couldn't care, couldn't have cared less at that moment what was happening. I just wanted to feel better. And, and so, then you painted the... That's what we were talking about? Yes. Yeah, because I was allergic to paint. <laughs> But yes, I've, I've always hated painting, even in school. I never liked painting because I was so nervous something was going to happen. I was going to have some type of allergic reaction to it. And it's the only thing that I know that I've ever been allergic to. But I think, if you did not know, you can grow out of allergies and you can become allergic to things late in life. Yeah. So you never know. You always got to be careful. But I think I'm over that allergy now. I haven't had any reactions. I do still get like a little hoarse throat, I feel like. Sometimes I feel like my skin's getting dry. I don't know if that's uh, allergic reactions or not, but the sore throat or whatever happens in my throat, I definitely know is. So sometimes I'll either put my shirt over it while I'm painting or I'll use a mask or something like that. Palmetto bugs fly. Yes, they do. Those are the cockroach looking things. Ugh. I was in Hawaii, speaking of those, which I don't think, I think in Hawaii it was a legit cockroach and it was huge. It was probably about four or five inches and we were walking along the beach of Waikiki. We were in Honolulu, and we heard it coming. Ugh. And there was another family in front of us, and I watched this thing fly into this lady's hair, <gasps> literally right in front of us. She freaked out. Oh, she was 100% a tourist, just like we were. I think we were actually looking at homes because that was right before I went there for school. So we were there scoping out homes and stuff like that. Uh -huh. This lady freaked out and she was Southern and she was screaming, is that a mother in cockroach? Did a cockroach? And she was like flailing like this. And she just kept saying that in cockroach, cockroach. And she smacked it out of her hair where she had dreads or braids, something like that. And it landed in Linda, my ex-girlfriend's mom's face. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. She was very calm, cool, and collective about it. She was uh, 
definitely better prepared than that other lady was and she just quickly swatted it out of her face and we continued on and it was like nothing oh, happened she's a tough woman i she's would hitting. absolutely be like <laughs> the first lady. Uh, i think 99 percent of people oh, would be man. i probably would have saw my soul i hate cockroaches oh. they're so gross it's one of the only things that really cre creeps me out and grosses me out <laughs> but it was hilarious it's one of the funniest things and it's one of the only stories that I'm really good at telling because it stuck with me so hard. That because it left a what is it called? Yeah, a, I'm really bad at storytelling. If you a guys photographic didn't know. impression, because I get so distracted with everything else. There's so many oh. diversions. Like my road is not linear. It's it's like Twisty a turn web. wacky wally. But we always get back to the main point. That's the best thing. And when I say we, I mean all the voices inside my head. Yes. Yeah, we all work together to get back to the main point. Oh, Brenda's saying that is a rare allergy. I have an allergy as well. I'm allergic to the cold. <laughs> it is called induced urticarian. Yeah, it's legit. So I I read, I think somebody on like TikTok or something. So like I follow like these people that have like really rare diseases. I think it's like one page and there's hundreds of people on the one page and they share like about their rare diseases or rare i love stuff like type that. things like Very that interesting. me too because i i learned so much i used to read medical um, journals when i was a kid and there's a actually i think it's a guy that is allergic to cold wow. and i was like wow and i feel like i am too maybe not to an extreme but when cold hits my body i literally like it goes freeze. straight straight to my bones yeah my bones freeze up and i know it's because i have uh, my issue with my lung and stuff like that. And I know that causes other types of arthritis in my body. So like when my... Oh, I wonder if it's a form of arthritis. Does she say in the comment or no? Oh, what she has? I don't know. Uh, Brenda, if you want to chime in on that, is it some form of arthritis? Oh man, when we first moved into our house here in Florida, my husband had one run across his chest. <gasps> when we were laying down, we now have orc income. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to talk more about this since this is a pretty popular subject. And thank you so much, Jay's PH Because they're the journey. most disgusting. Listen, they are insects. incredible. I 100% agree. They are disgusting, but they are incredible for the insects. environment. So, I get it. Yes, Ugh. they are such good cleaners, and they've survived so much, and they will continue to survive so much. There's just because they're so disgusting. Because they're built for life. They are literally the perfect adaptation. Yeah. Like if Darwin's oh. finest had a winner, it would be them, either them or sharks. They've all just been here for hundreds of millions of years. Yeah. It's so... But anyways, when we first, oh, when me and my ex-girlfriend, I know, we <laughs> haven't had any in here so far that we know of. I think I may or may not have seen one in the pantry when we first came down here, but I instantly took care of that. I took everything out and we sprayed everything, everything down. Let it sit for, what, I think, yeah. two days or something. But when we were first... Moving to Hawaii for school, me and my ex-girlfriend, uh, we had a house that we picked online. Like, we were in communication with this lady online. This was back in 2009. And uh, she made it seem like it was a perfect place, like one of the best houses. And we were surprised because the price was really good for where it was at the time. I think we were going to pay, like, I think it was, like, 1100 for an entire little house. I think it was two bedrooms, had two bathrooms, a kitchen, and a living room, and a backyard, which was small. I think in total, it was probably like the whole thing was like a 32nd of an acre, which is amazing if you're going to live in Hawaii. That's still land in on Hawaii. So we book our flights. We get there. We're there for like two weeks. We're staying in a hotel uh, at the meantime when we're checking things out. And we go to the, we had a, uh, what would you even call it? Like a time slot. No, we had a time slot to go meet the lady to go there. And she wasn't there. She didn't live on Hawaii. She lived somewhere else. She, it was just her property, but she lived somewhere else. I think she was in Vegas at the time. But she left the key, so we were able to go in. <laughs> and you could tell she hadn't been there in a long time. And whoever lived there last, it was obviously college kids, they wrote all over the walls in paint. And there was marks right by them where they you could see that they smashed giant cockroaches on the walls on the floors on the ceilings and on the wall they wrote in paint uh cockroach kill count and she must have had somebody come in after they moved out and they painted the walls white and oh, it literally God. all seeped through you could literally still see it 
Wow. They must have done one coat of paint on it and thought it was a good job. Oh. Yeah, so we immediately told her, no thank you. We were from Ohio. Yeah, I know that's probably not a huge deal to people who live there. People who live here probably don't care too much. You just get orkin, like she was saying, and just take care of it. But we were absolutely like, no, this is a no-go. No thank you whatsoever. And it ended up leading to something better because we found a studio apartment which had mountain view and ocean view, but you had to like lean out the window, but it was still nice. Uh, the mountain view you could see, it was like a little hill that was right behind us. And it wasn't too far. It was like right up the street from the college, which was pretty cool. It only took me like 10 minutes to get there. Plus I got to go through Chinatown every single day, which was really neat. Um, and that was like 1200 bucks a month. So that was absolutely wonderful. And it was on the eighth floor, which wasn't the best because all we had was mopeds. So whenever we would buy groceries and stuff like that, oh, we, had, yeah. we had to hold them on our mopeds, which is our fault. But mopeds is one of the best ways to travel around there. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of the cities in the Keys, that's what. Yeah, a because lot you of literally people... can just zip and zap around. You don't have to worry about sitting in traffic. You can go through the middle lanes. You can even go now. So many places have bike lanes and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's just super so convenient. Perfect. Yeah. Pardon me for one second while I try and get whatever's leaking out of my nose. All right, people are talking about other things while it's never trust a bug that can survive a nuke explosion. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, so she was saying uh, your ticaria is like a rash, or Teresa actually oh, said that. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the 186 people that are watching. Thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful celebration, celebrating 29,000 subscribers, which are you all. Thank you so much for making this possible. Absolutely love it. So much more to come, so much more to do. I've really taken a break this last week or so, which kills me. I promise you it kills me. It made me feel even worse than how I was already feeling on top of feeling worse because I've been doing, I felt so good consistency-wise, posting every day and keeping you guys in the loop of what's going on day to day. And this seems to always happen. I know it's a spring thing. When spring rolls around, I get this, Terrible cough, I get the chills, I get the fever and all that, and it just makes, it knocks me out. And uh, it sucks all my motivation away. Like, I literally don't want to do anything. I just want to sit and either, we've been going to the pool a lot, because the kids, of course, want to go to the pool. So that's literally all I felt like doing, is just going to the pool. Yeah. Just relaxing. I mean, filming the pool, you can oh, only Crystal, film it thank so you so much. Times. Yeah, I can't film them swimming, that's weird. No. No, and there's a, like, I, I personally don't like to film whenever there's, like, a lot of kids around yeah, anyway. I don't, I don't care to do that either. But being in Florida, you don't have to worry about permission from anyone. But, of course, I don't. If somebody, if somebody ever came up to me and said, hey, I don't want to be in your video, that's an easy, I can put a little blurry thing over your face, don't worry about it. Or even just cut the whole segment if it's not necessary. I'm never one of those types of people that are like, well, too bad, don't be out there, don't be filmed. Because I understand, you know, not everybody wants to be out in the open. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who say, if you don't want to be filmed, don't go anywhere. Because everywhere you go, you're being filmed. But you're also not being broadcasted on a YouTube page or, you know, anywhere else you could be. Yeah, and but, that statement is just... It's selfish, but I understand it. Well, like, what are you going to do? Make, like Make them stay inside and never go anywhere? Like, that's wild. Yeah, that's what it pretty much... We're, we're one people. Like, come on, guys. We're all one big people. We're right. Race, one race, human race. That's all it is. You gotta work, work together to make it better. That's yes. all it is. And with love... social media being so easy and influence, in, in, influential, influential, like everybody is filming. Yeah. And just like George said last week, a camera is it does make better act, than right? a weapon, literally. I don't know. I'll still take a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody pulls a gun on me, I'm not going to start filming, and that's a quick way to get shot. I don't think that's going to make a difference. I'd rather defend that's myself fair. appropriately. I mean, but these hands, see, folks. If you see that weapon, then yes. But probably in most situations where something is you know, stirring the pot, Cameras have saved my life. I've been in situations in prison where it was good that cameras were on and recording and yeah. saw exactly what happened so that, you know, saved because word of mouth, yeah, yeah, word of mouth, of course, only goes so far, especially when the administration is not necessarily on your side. So it's always good to have visual evidence of how things proceeded and how things went down because it 
protects your life as a citizen, as a regular citizen, it can protect your life. <coughs> Excuse me. Jay is saying people get so mad when you have a camera in your hand. A camera is accountability in some cases. Exactly. And I 100% will always tell people if you're ever in a situation uh, where things are sketchy, film it. Because just like she said, it's 100% accountability. You cannot refute what happened in the video unless somebody's <coughs> really, <coughs> excuse me again, unless somebody's really good at Photoshop and stuff like that. But there's ways to figure out what's been Photoshopped. But if you're ever in a situation where it's a he said, she said, have have your phone out, have it film. Even if you're not recording the situation, you don't have to hold it like this in the person's face. You can just hold it to your side so that you at least have audio recording, or you can try and spin it a little bit so that you have visual recording as well. But having that audio, having exactly what was said, what was done could save your life literally in so many different circumstances. So it's 100% recommended because if you go into a store like Walmart, you are being filmed. If you go outside, there's cameras on light posts and stuff like that on traffic lights, they're filming you. So and you might not have access to that if something does happen, but you will have access to your phone. So definitely protect yourself. It's a liability. I'm sure any decent lawyer would tell you that. Hey, we've been invited to make it up to New England, which I'd love to. Ooh. I know that's that's in that little corner over there that we got to get to. Okay. Yeah, heck yeah. What do you do? What did I do to get into the big house? I applied. <laughs> I applied and they hired me like... It was going out of style. Good Lord. But that was that a lot was like... of fun. In my... I had fun as a young, my mid-20s, being a corrections officer. I... I'm a very by-the-book person. and uh... They were not. Yeah, of course, it's prison. Like, you're there to be reformed. And I, I'm the same way with my kids. Like, you're not going to get away with stuff. I just couldn't, I couldn't drop anything. It was so hard for me. And everybody was always like, pick your battles. It's like, it's all my battles. I can handle it all. I literally proved over and over and over that I could handle it all. So, but those days are over. And administration was not on my side. It's a money game, just like politics. It was a money game, so. I would like my drink. Yeah, of course. Thank you, But it worked out in the end. Yeah, that's very true, Mar Maria. There is there was a lot. You weren't just worried about dealing with convicted murderers and rapists and thieves and stuff like that. You had to worry about the people on your side that were working for those people. Oh, so. And you did not know. There was a guy that was there for 25 years, and he was in a very high position. And while I was there, they figured out that he was one of the most crooked people anywhere. And what happens is in politics... A lot of people know you don't lose your job in politics. You get shuffled around. So instead of being sent to prison, which he should have, because that's usually what happens, he was actually just shuffled to another prison and took a different position and like it never happened. So it's crazy how that works. And that's that's politics for you, which is another reason why I had to leave. I couldn't stand it. I'm a very, I don't, I'm not going to say I'm the most, you know, I'm not the most anything, but morally, I have a really good moral background, thanks to my dad. He raised me very Christian, very by that book. So seeing people do bad things like that really boiled my skin for the longest time. And I don't know. People knew that if I was around to not do anything wrong, it got to that point. Like, don't do anything in front of me because you're going to you're going to get in trouble. And I wasn't afraid of anybody, which is my mistake, because all the time they'll tell you that you made it out of there because they chose. I don't know. I think it was a respect thing. They knew better. That's good. There was a lot of times I, I had my life threatened multiple times, but made it out. That was actually out. another reason why I wanted you to get out. Because I know had, you hated it. I hated that. And I, I mean, it wasn't a we, thrill thing. I wasn't yeah. a thrill seeker in that type of way, but it was something that I knew I could handle. Cause I have the power of God behind me. Come on folks. Something and we stronger had, than that. I mean, we just had Baron. Or no, Jackson. We had, and, yeah, we uh, had Jackson was young, which it worked out for us because I worked third shift, which is a relatively safe shift, which is funny. That's a lot of the reason why I got in trouble because I was always finding things on third shift. Like those guys, don't, they don't all sleep at night. A lot of them are up to no good at night. So I was always finding stuff, always having to open up cells at night and stuff like that. So I created work for other people, and that's why I might not have been the most popular, but... Once they saw my work ethic, there was a lot of the good ones that did like to be around me because they knew if I was around, things were going to go a better way than if, it, if I wasn't. Yeah, I, I was trusted.
with the right crowd. So me working third shift, it was great because she worked first shift. She would go to work. I would come home. Well, I'd come home and then she'd go to work. And then me and Jackson would literally just stay up. And he was just a toddler at the time. He was under one. You and a wee little baby. Yeah, he was so little. Me and him would just chill on the couch. And I had like the big baby gates up, separating him from going anywhere else in the house. So he would just literally roam back and forth. And me and him would watch reading videos together. and Science uh, videos. What was that one? You know, his favorite video was uh, I am arugula. It was the alphabets, but it uh. was vegetables. And oh my goodness, that kid had it memorized. Like he knew more vegetables before he was one that most kids know in their entire life. It was so crazy. Literally. And he loved it. My favorite thing, I have a video of him, and he, the way he says cabbages, mm. literally melted my heart. Cabbages. He's so cute. Uh oh, I got to read some of these comments. <coughs> Denise, thank you so much. She said, Congratulations on hitting 29,000. Key West is a perfect place to people watch. Yes, which I do all the time. It's literally, I cannot stop people watching. Everywhere I go, I people watch. It's nothing I can ever <laughs> yeah. turn off. I'm sure that put you in an even more dangerous position. Violet, uh, I can't answer that or not. Yeah. If me being me in the prison system put me in a more, I definitely was challenged a lot. But I don't think, I think the big, the big dogs in there knew better. Because they don't want to raise any suspicion. And the, their, their underlings, whatever you want to call them, if they start acting up and they're going to get everybody in trouble, the bosses deal with them. So, like, most of the time you don't even know this stuff is going on unless you're very vigilant, which I can't turn it off. But whenever I would see something going down, it was nine times out of ten somebody else was going to deal with it before I even got a chance to. So a lot of that stuff works out. Those guys don't want to be caught. They want their cell phones. They want their drugs. They want whatever else is being brought in to be hush-hush. So... A lot of it is kept in. Like I was saying, you really don't know who's a good cop and who's a bad cop in those situations until it's too late, until administration figures it out and, you know, they're being walked out or being arrested. Because in some cases, some of the stuff that they do, especially when they have relationships with inmates, which I don't know why you ever would. I understand why you would, not judging anybody, but I don't know why. It blows my mind. But anyways, what was I even talking about? The arugula song with Jackson. Yeah, we talked about that. Jackson was so cute. Um, there was so much more I wanted to talk about. I don't remember. This always happens. I love it, though. I love sharing parts of my past. I'd love to actually do more of the story time slots. I got to get back into that. But I need gambling money first. That comes later. Yeah. I know. I'd love to do that. Hello, Sue Olson. She's from Maine. Maine is one of the places we definitely want to stop. And she's saying in the summer. We were thinking Maine in the fall, closer, closer to summer or fall. So like the dog days of summer, stuff like that. Because I don't want to go up there when it's too cold. And I don't don't want to be stuck coming through cold weather on our way down to wherever we're going to escape the winter. Which is what I feel like we're about to start doing now. Yeah, me too. I feel like if we don't plan better, we're going to get stuck. Ohio, when we first started, that's where we were, was Ohio, and that was October, November, which historically, I can't say it was ever that cold in October and November. It's usually mild. It's the middle-ish of fall. The temperatures are usually great, but we had a few days where things got below freezing, and our hose that we were given, our heated hose, had a notch in it, so I could not hook it up properly. Every time I hooked it up, it would leak. <coughs> Excuse me. And now, being... Six months in, which we need to do a six-month update on how things are we going. Do. Um, I don't think a small leak like that really matters. I think we should have kept using, but maybe it does. Here it doesn't matter. There's people who have, you can see their <laughs> their hoses are springing leaks left and right, and they don't care. It's just But whatever. the leak is like at the spout, not in the RV part. Yeah. Oh, no. I'd, if it was a leak in RV, I'd never use it. But... What I was going to say is in winter time, if you have a leak, you're going to create ice. So you could literally freeze the entire ground underneath you, and that would be terrible. So maybe I wouldn't want to let the yeah, small leak. Not. Just, yeah, I don't think that's wise at all. But no, running I water do not is want water that doesn't freeze. Anywhere. We do have ever. several new heated hoses now that we've only had to use a few times because mid November, we said, forget Ohio, we came straight down here to Florida. 
that we're never going anywhere ever in the cold. Yeah, I don't, never. I don't think we we're not built for that. One, I don't want to be in the cold. It hurts my body. George will tell you the same thing. It hurts her body. My mom will tell you the same thing. It hurts her body. Like RV and cold, they do not go together. And I don't care who you are or what you say. You will never convince me. But ever. there's tons of there people is, who live through the winter time. They just have to winterize. Which... Yes, and they have to do like so much extra work and like run the water all the yeah, time. Yeah, another and, like, all reason. Extra steps and that's just another wild. reason that's... why that would not work for us is because of our issues with the propane. If we had working running propane that wasn't being sucked down every other day. Yeah, something's up with it. But because our furnace, for whatever reason, we had two thirty pound. Uh, LP tanks and everybody that I talked to said those should at least last one of them should last about a week running the furnace at a normal rate which in the winter time you know to keep it even 65 in here it's almost gonna be running the whole time but we were sucking down LP pretty much through the through one night so like we had two tanks and it would literally last us like two to three days yeah and was definitely LP is liquid propane and you'd have to pay to get them filled up again and it's just like gas prices. It was three ninety nine dollars uh, a gallon for, and there were about six gallons. Some people kept saying eight. It should be eight gallons that fits into a 30 pound tank. But they were, anytime I ever went to tractor supply, they would get like six, six and a half in there. So, and that was, it's 25 bucks just about. So 25 bucks every other day, that adds up. You're looking at like 75 bucks a week, if not a little bit more, somewhere around there. And then you're shooting into 300 bucks a month. For just propane to heat your RV. And that doesn't count gas or anything. Oh, John asked, what does my shirt say? This is actually my shirt. It's my... Oh, my back hurts. Oh, I never even talked about what happened last night. Why I was an idiot. That's where I was going. So I got into something else. Yes, I have to show you my shirt first. So this is a raccoon, if you can't tell. I usually have people guess. And there is a T, an A, and an R taking a risk. And there it is, taking a risk. The honey made this. She made everything. Literally, the style of the shirt, the, it used to be all green. She bleached it, and then she pressed it. And this is, what, maybe a year or two old? Yeah, that's a... And uh, it's just now starting to crack to because... The wash and dry it. So yeah, the washer, the washer dryer that we have is great. I probably, if I lived in a normal residential house, I would never own a washer dryer. A uh, single unit. It's a two-in-one, a washer and a dryer. I like... I think when we had a regular wash dryer, this thing was perfect all the time, but now it's getting like crunchy, crispity. Yeah, it does. So, it, Thank the, you. Because it doesn't dry Sorry. with. Um, yeah, whatever. I don't setting, know. However, all, it dries. It, it dries it's really it's hot. so weird. I've lost pairs of shoes to it. Oops, and Jackson, too. <laughs> Honey, because when you set it, you set it to this specific setting, and each load takes about three hours, if not more. And it does a complete wash cycle, and then it starts its own dry cycle. It doesn't stop in between. So if you forget to take something out for the dry cycle, you just ruined it because it does get extremely hot. Like to the to the point where if you open that door, it's got a glass. Uh, and I burnt myself twice on it. Too yeah, far. it gets very hot. Like probably 150, if not 160 degrees. Yeah, thing it's is really hot. Scorching. Oh, thank you, everybody, saying they love the shirt. The honey used to make these. And we had actually this design. She had like 200 copies of it. And we were supposed to start selling the design on shirts. But I don't think that went anywhere. I don't, I don't think anybody ordered any shirts. Nobody wanted any shirts. That's another thing that I keep forgetting to ask or like do. Um, like, are you guys wanting like taking a risk merchandise? If you are, what... What is a design idea in your mind? You can just like text it out or whatever of like what you would like on a shirt. Do you guys want like front and back? Because we have merchandise. We do. If you people do check underneath every video. It, yeah. But we haven't had anything sold. I so things. I don't know if it's the design, the price, the colors. So let me know. Yeah, let us know. We would love to start selling merchandise. Once again, that would go a long way in helping us uh, continue this journey. But if you do, if you do really like the shirt, this is this is a very special one to me. And I was it saying, it wouldn't be anything like that, though. Uh, I mean, we could always auction off my shirts. That could be a thing. 
But this one is very special to me. It's one of my favorite ones. I love the color pattern. I love the green is my favorite color. She did such a wonderful job on this, the cute little green raccoon. She didn't think it would work, I think, when I first brought this idea up to her, the green on green, but I think that looks amazing. But <coughs> uh, my clothing is limited now because living this minimalistic type Ish lifestyle. Life. Yeah, I, I run through maybe about 10 different shirts. So the cycle of wearing them and Oh, just have to... I, I went from like 40 different shirts, I feel like. But I didn't always wear all of those shirts. Yeah, you didn't, you, That's a lot of t-shirts. You mostly wear what you have here. Yeah, for the so most part. That's really why I picked really these change, clothes yeah. is because this is what I usually wore. And I love I love walking around. I see people staring at it all the time. So Mark said RVing with the risks. Okay. I had a very silly idea for something like that a long time ago, but I couldn't get it to work. It was taking a RV or something like that. And I just couldn't get it to work as much as I tried. I wanted to. front and back. She wants a car magnet front and back front and back shirt and a car magnet. Oh yeah. Cool. One of my favorite shirts is actually one of the original ones that I actually designed. I did say it was taking a risk. And then on the back, it had the YouTube uh, emblem, the little thing at the bottom there, the, I don't know. Is, it, is it a white triangle the or play. is it a, the, the play? play? Button. Yeah, okay. It's a little play button. So that was and one of my favorite subscribe designs. On it. Yeah, it said subscribe. So it always get people to ask, oh, subscribe to what? And then I turn around and be like, ha, taking a risk. Gotcha. <laughs> no, I never got anybody with it. They'd always just go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that one more time? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's a direct second time, but 190 people watching this. Wow, that's amazing. It's been over an hour. I think we could probably. I love spending so much time. Like I always keep going. I've got I more stories, but going. I want to keep. I like. I'm trying to keep up with the chat. People are having their own side chat, which is fine. I'd like to be part of that. I'd love to have an inside joke one day. They're talking about the weather. Oh, which seems uh -oh, to be yawning. Yeah, it's. We gotta watch True Lies. Oh man. We at least started today. It's eleven o'clock. Maybe, maybe I'll just show you the part of the movie where that's in. It's literally in the very end. Where he saves his wife. Oh, you can't go all the way to the end. We're not doing that. Yes? Why not? I don't know. Just to the part where Seven Mile Bridge gets destroyed. Okay. That's okay. literally the very end. It's like okay. five minutes from the ending. Okay. But it's such a great movie, but I don't know how you... Do you like action movies? Sure. I consider an action comedy... Uh, Tom Arnold is one of my favorite action comedians. He was in so many action comedy movies, and he always made it so much better. Him and Anthony Anderson. I loved watching those two. Do the California shore in the fall. Still warm and the coast is magical. I would love to. We would love to be out west, but that's not going to be this year for sure. We we thought that for so long that, that was going to be our journey. We were going to head from here, head west through Texas, hit Arizona, and New Mexico and all that, and then go up the California coast to Oregon and Washington. But gas prices are scaring us. We need to grow a lot more before we can get to that level. And we had other plans that we want to be in Pennsylvania for the Hershey show. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you can see all that awesomeness. We may or may not do a meet and greet there. We have to talk to whoever the head honcho is, but we have to wait. We're on a waiting list to do that. We can't talk to them until like August or something like that. So here's hoping that'd be really cool, especially since we're doing a bunch of upgrades in the RV. They may actually feature our RV there if we do such a good enough job, which we're trying. That we, so we, I'm, I'm turning French now. I'm trying. Great. She has great ideas and I have to put them into place. <laughs> listen, listen here. Okay. I'm you listening. do a great job. We have four small children that I have to work around. And I, I left the paint can where I thought they wouldn't get to it. Oh. But Yasmin, oh my goodness. She figured out how to pry it open. I must have left it open enough that she could pull it back. Stuck both of her hands into this green, what did you call it earlier? Light sage green Light paint. sage green paint. Stuck both of her hands in it. And our RV okay. has leveling jacks. It has six of them. Two in the front, two in the middle, two in the back. I put it right next to the middle one, right underneath the stairs, right here by our front door. She was just sitting under there, putting both her hands in it and just rubbing it all over that middle jack. Luckily, 
it didn't dry by the time we were notified because Evelyn came inside with paint. <laughs> in her hair trying to be slick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She said, Mommy, I think Yazzie's painting the RV. Yeah, but she had paint all over, so it was obvious it she was, was in doing her hair, it, too. She had it on her... She only had it on, like, a couple but of her fingers. big credit to her for being such a good... Big girl. Yeah, and big girl and coming to tell us. Because Yazzie, she must have known that mommy, mommy was getting told. And I could hear it. I was playing with Jackson in his room. And the honey just said, George, they're painting with the paint outside. They're painting the RV. <laughs> I hopped up. Wandered out there. Yazzie's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> she is so little. It's so adorable nowhere to be seen so i'm off there and i see immediately what she did and i'm like freaking out like what else could she have painted but i didn't see anything else so finally i go out there and i take uh bleach wipes and stuff like that i took a little scrubber i didn't have to use the scrubber which was great the bleach wipes literally got on because it was still wet and i'm looking around looking around yazzie's nowhere to be found i'm looking at the rv seeing if she painted anything else she didn't even get me on the floor she didn't no there, I got more on the floor than she did. Are there handprints? Hand I looked there? everywhere. I didn't see. Oh, but you know what? So she goes underneath the this slide, actually, that we're sitting in. And that's where the paint can was. I thought I'd hit it in a pretty good spot. But, of course, they're little. They literally can walk right under it. I have to duck. So it could actually be on the underside. So like, Yeah, we're right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'll have to check tomorrow. Carmen says hi, and she misses. Oh, hi, Carmen. I wish Jackson was up. He could talk to you, but. You'll have to call us or we'll have to call you and we'll have a conversation like that. But yeah, I am getting tired now too. The, yeah. the Hershey show, Brenda, is in September. I think it's the middle of September. Don't quote me on that part, but it definitely the is in the September. 17th, I, I think, think so too. The four, But that seems, it's the U.S.'s largest yeah, RV show. Here's my phone. Why do you keep asking for your phone? You're using your phone for chat right here. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm all the way over here. <laughs> Somebody said they want an apron, I think. An apron? I love the apron idea. Oh, yeah, cooking barbecue apron and do a video to promote it. Mm. Why I did not know that. LGR said that the original bridge was Flagler Railroad Bridge. That's pretty cool. For anybody that's left, obviously you're not going to see this, but good night. Thank you so much for joining us on this very special occasion. I wish I could have had my sister on this one too, sister and Jeremy. That would have been cool. But eleven through busy. the fifteenth. That was right. What did I say? You said the fourteenth, but okay. So the eleventh through the fifteenth. See, that seems really short. The one that I literally just went to here, the random free Orlando RV show, was the. It was Wednesday through. I think it was the eleventh to the fifteenth too. Oh. And we just happened to find out about it on the 14th because we went the 14th and I went by myself on the 15th, which I wish we would have known. I definitely would have gone probably all of those days. It was only about 35, 40 minutes up tickets the street. Tickets go on sale in June. So tickets for the RV, the Hershey, Pennsylvania show, which is the U.S.'s largest RV show. It is massive. I think last time we were there, there was over 15,000 RVs. Nearly 1,500 RVs. 1,500. I added an extra zero, but still, that is an incredible... 35 manufacturers in the 55th annual America's Largest RV Show. 55th. So hopefully they'll do something special. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be super cool. And we might be there, so you never know. Well, we're going to be there regardless, but we might actually be featured there, which would be super duper cool. There's a few families that we met at the Tampa show, which is Florida's largest RV show, right? Yeah. It's Florida's largest. Yeah, place. that was super cool, going to the Tampa one. That's how we really met a lot of the RV families and found out that we could have probably been at the other Hershey one, but we didn't even have an RV then, so probably not. But it still would have been cool. Still would have been cool. So hopefully for this next one, we'll be there, uh, be sponsored there. Thank you so much, The Truth. Sue Olson says she loves the channel. I love you, Sue. Sean, thank you so much. Said congratulations. Can't wait to get a trailer for camping. I just want a small one. Oh, man, Brenda. Did you? Oh, no. That's the video that's coming out. There is one. It's called the Mini Light. That thing is wonderful. I'll tell you what. That is one of the coolest, smallest RVs I've ever seen. And it literally is perfect for one or two people. And it's it's literally this entire 40-foot RV squished into like maybe a 15 to 20-foot. I don't remember specifically. Maybe even less than that. It was... 
You would have really liked it. Super cute and cozy. Super cute and cozy. Oh. Yeah, like absolutely. Was adorable. it this gross brown? No, they actually looked really nice. I think they're getting away from this. I hope so. They're doing yeah. more of a grayish brown. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah, and then there's another one. It's called a wolf pup RV, and it is super duper cool. It is minimalist for sure. You don't. It doesn't come with many amenities. It comes with just enough for you to go camping with it. You know, you get you actually get three beds in this tiny. It's called a wolf pup because it's made by Timberwolf, or mm. uh, is it Timberwolf? I don't know. I think the company is Timberwolf. That sounds like and all of their RVs have wolf in it, and it's like Great Wolf or something like that. And this one's the Wolf Pup because it's so much smaller, but it comes with three queen size beds. Yes, and an RV that's the size of this living room it comes with three beds and an escape hatch, which I think is one of the coolest things I've ever seen on an RV. Wow. Yeah, I was looking at it from the outside, and I was like, why is this folded up? Like, I was looking into this doorway, and I could see over it was the inside of the RV. And I'm looking at this thing like, what is this folded up? So I finally found the latch and I pull the latch and it folds down and it's a bed. That's Literally dope. the door opens like a little escape hatch door. Yeah. And it leads to the under bay and the bed is right there. And you fold the bed up and you have a little bit more room, but and then that's, that's not even the main bed. That's like a side bed. And there's You're another one. Them everything. It's okay. They'll see it in person. Okay. If they watch the video tomorrow, it should come out tomorrow. That's so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. There's a lot of really cool ones. And then I also saw the uh, the one that you really like, the the one that looks like a little lodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like a, it's called the... The Timber Lodge, right? Timber something. Yeah, that one is super duper cool, which we showed that one at the, I think at the Hershey RV show, I think. No, at Tampa. I think we saw it at both. And... But... It's one of my favorite RVs. It's super duper cool. And they added an additional feature to it <laughs> that you wouldn't believe. <laughs> you well, would we've not never believe. gotten like a real. Yeah, no, we've like, always been like crowded. It's 100% of one of the most popular RVs at these shows. People love going because it looks so unique. It literally um, looks like one of those. Um, it looks like a log cabin on wheels. Yeah, but it looks like it's made out of one of those uh, containers. Containers with rustic container, log yeah. cabin features. It's so cool. <laughs> Sean, she said she's super excited because she made a she finally made it to a live, but she's she's usually at work and she cannot watch. She's too busy, and we're just about to sign off. Carmen subscribed. Oh my goodness, Carmen, you're so sweet. How adorable oh, that they're so watching. Cute. That's so funny. <laughs> Somebody, Violet and Geo, I can't tell, are those cookie monsters? <laughs> what happened? And that's funny. I wish, yeah, me and uh, Brett and Teresa, which is Madam Mayor, we were speaking about them going to the Keys, of course, after we left. And that was one of the other reasons why we were thinking about going back. It would be great to meet up with them because they're wonderful people. I've met them before at George and Jeremy's uh, ranch over there in Otter Creek. And it would have been really cool. And they're very knowledgeable about camping in general. They owned the camps uh, grounds that was over there. No, no, no that's funny. <clears throat> but, of course, we already have other plans. I think that drive is just too much. Plus, we have to. We actually have to pay to be there. The Keys, with the Thousand Trails membership, we did get an extreme discount. But uh, it's not one of the free places that we can stay. It's an additional fee per night. Which yep. Yeah, and whatever he says, free, um, we pay a monthly. Fee. Yeah, so we can do a whole bunch of stuff. I won't go into extreme detail about it, but where we're staying at now, we don't have to pay for nightly. It comes out of like the, the monthly camera, fee. Yeah, Yeah, and we could stay here for three days, go somewhere else, stay there for three days. We could literally park hop in such a unique way and never have to pay. But luxury places like the Keys, it's like for us – this is it's not twenty dollars. Yeah, that's not anything to worry about. Literally, twenty dollars is nothing to live in paradise. No, and I would literally. If you don't that. have the thousand trails, it's how much? It's literally like two hundred fifty dollars a night. <coughs> Over two hundred dollars a night, that's for sure. So that's nuts. With our membership, it's twenty dollars a night. Without the membership, it's two hundred dollars a night. So I don't know. I think the membership is definitely. It is been 100% no, worth it's it. definitely saved us so much money. Yeah. For sure. And the fact that 
once it's paid off, one, it's ours for a lifetime and we can still <laughs> utilize it. And two, one of the kids is going to get it. Like that to me is the best membership that I would ever want. I would have even wanted this. I think they're all going to get it. I think they can share it. Yeah, probably. But you, it's not like like Evelyn's family can't be at a campground and Jackson's family yeah, be at course. a different one. Yeah. You know? I, I mean, I'm not a psychic. I can't predict what the future is going to be like. But I could see them all maybe choosing this lifestyle, depending on how things go in this wonky world. You never know. This I might, love it. This lifestyle might be the way of the future. Not being tied down to any one specific area. I mean, we're, we all started off as nomads. You have to know that we all traveled and wandered around until we found places that we really liked. And that's what we're doing. And that's what I hope to instill on my kids. You know, you got to wander, wander this beautiful earth. There's so many things to see on this giant rock that feels so small when you think about space and stuff like that. But there's literally, if you hate it where you are, don't stay there. There's no reason to. You could literally move 50 miles in either direction, find a completely different area that suits you better. That's how amazing. And, you know, you have 24,000 or so miles around, you know, if you want to go all the way around, you know, to find someplace that suits you. So hopefully we instill that upon them that you don't have to be stuck in a place that you hate. And it took me way too long to figure that out. I loved Ohio. I was great. That's where my family is. But, but I feel those like... winters... Even yeah. though they're not that bad, they really do take a toll on you. And you don't almost don't notice because it's so subtle how much the weather can affect you like that. But I, I realized, you know, with my lung condition, with I have arthritis in my ankles, I have arthritis in my elbows and stuff like that. I felt every winter in my bones. Yeah, that's yeah. not so bad. And I always felt trapped, but now which is another reason why we sold our house and got out of there released now you're released and now i'm understanding why there's the birds do it you know i don't need to any other explanation as to why we migrated the birds do it there has to be a good reason why the birds do it it's because it's, it's the, for the birds, birds knees it's the birds the birds knees. knees yeah it's good yeah chase that sun all right it's 11 11 make a wish and let's log off You at home, make sure that you got your wish in because it's now 11 12. And I wish that everybody's wish would come true. Yes. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud though. But thank you all so very much once again. 29,000, like what an achievement. That's I didn't crazy. think it was possible. I, I felt like we were doing the opposite of. Man, right whenever we first do. started, we were losing subs left and right. Literally, I would down. post videos and subs would just go flying out the door. Didn't make any sense. <laughs> I like see it bounce. <laughs> oh, this guy again. I meant to unsubscribe with, from him last time. Better do it this time just to make sure. Oh, Alan, thank you so much. We love you. Cynthia, we love you too. Maria, good night. We love you all. Thank you all so very much. And once again, thank you to George and Jeremy over at What the Hills for helping us begin this crazy Start journey. journey yeah. yeah, so nuts. I literally like I don't want to think about where we would be without them and without this. We don't have to think about it. We can just think about the future and where we, we gotta we gotta keep going. To another twenty nine thousand. Absolutely. In fifty days. Fifty days? Twenty nine thousand subs in fifty days? Is that your goal? I wish. That's one heck of a goal. Yes, Maria, we will. Now that we're back here, she said, make sure to come to the villages. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I'd love to. I will. I'd love to ride around in this. a golf cart in the villages. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to here just a second. And actually, our one of our neighbors has a golf cart for sale. You always I'm going to go lowball them. I'm going to go lowball them. No, you're not. We don't have money to spend on stuff like that, but maybe, maybe I can figure something out. Yeah, we don't need a golf cart. Stop golf carting around, man. I need a golf cart. Okay. Then, I'll we'll, push you then in the we'll have to figure out how to tow it to places. I'll push you in the wagon. Let me put a motor on the wagon. Why haven't we done that yet? I don't know. I can make small engines. Okay. Heck, my people built the pyramids. Yeah. I could build a small engine. I know you could. You could probably buy one that's already built. Did they buy the pyramids? Yes. <sighs> 
aliens were not selling it at the time. But thank you all once again so very much. We love, 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 love seeing love, you guys. Love, love. Oh, did you want to maybe talk about Saturday? Oh, yeah. Go the ahead. honey wants to switch to Saturdays to do lives. I don't know why. Maybe because when we first put Drop out. Drop in the comments if you would come to a live if we did it on Saturday versus Monday. Just so that way that would I get Saturdays work better for you guys? I like doing them later, like this right now, even though I'm tired because we're on a schedule with four little kids, I prefer to do it later like this. Yeah, like so my later. thinking is, it's like... Because all day, I'm seriously agonizing. These like are 8.30 coming, comes too fast. How many people are on? There's still 155 people. 155 people. They have to, mo most of them probably have to work tomorrow. Yeah, I agree with that. But the thing... The, the justification to that is you don't have to watch a live. Of course, I love that you guys are live with us asking us questions, I know, I commenting like in the chat. That's what I want. You want it's, as many people to be present for the yes, live as possible. Yes, so that way that we can have some interaction, you know, get real comments, questions answered, but you know? The world is so unique now that not everybody works a normal 9 to 5 Monday through Friday. There's several people that... Are there anybody saying, anybody saying Saturdays are good or no? Well, any time is fine. Saturday is okay. Conky's on Saturdays at 8. I'd probably go on whenever he's done or after at some point. I do like these later. It is after 11. Uh, Saturday's fine. They have no life. Oh. Well, welcome to ours. They're usually on till 9. So we could go on at 9.30 like I like. Okay. And then I, I used to like, so when we used to go live way back when, or I used to go live, I liked being on, I think it started at 10. And then after 11 would be like. A party hour. The dark hour. Yeah. Things would take a turn and be adults only. <laughs> you guys were already adults. Me. Did you hear what she just called me, folks? What an insult. You're an adult. Tui. But anyways, yes, I want to go introduce you to some true lies. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yes. So thank you again once again. Love you all so very much. Thank you so so much for this incredible journey. Like, Scream to them in the back. They can't hear you. Thank you. Just imagine. Oh, man, I meant to actually talk about. Oh, Lord. <laughs> We're never going to watch this movie. Why don't you go in there and get it started? You know how to work a TV. I don't right? know how to work it. She really doesn't know how to work our TV. You have to jiggle the button in a certain way. That's so It's not our TV. Oh, no, that one is our TV. Yeah, but it's so aggravating. All the TVs in our RV work funny. Especially this one. This one's The one that's in the living slow. room that's on right now. Yeah, it's really slow. It came with the RV, and I don't know what's up with it. <laughs> the one that we brought with us is Jackson's old TV, and good Lord, I don't know what those kids were doing with his TV. There was <laughs> fingerprints and... All kinds of stuff all over it. They would like climb up on the uh, dresser and they tap the screen and stuff like that. So it's got some issues now. But anyways, Squirrel. thank you all so very much. Love you all. Thank you for this amazing journey. And we'll see you in the next one. Maybe on Saturday. We'll see. Yes. And then what? Now I got to start putting videos out on Mondays. Yeah. So much work. And we love all you guys. Work and no play makes Georgia Bad guy, I don't remember what he says. Oh, Lord, have mercy on That wasn't even a good impression. My throat hurts. Thirsty. And this is all watered down now. That's all right. It's now a Bawata blast. Bawata blast. Yeah. <laughs>